and this is Rod Shacker Vids. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on uh, importing, exporting your character. Uh, you want to include the armature and you want to be able to bring it into other blend files or uh, and uh, use it how you want to use it. So we're going to export this, but we have to export it on the, I'll show you which one we got to do, the FBX. That'll bring your armature in. I did the 3DS and I did the OBJ and I didn't get my armature. So I just want to make sure that y'all get your armatures uh, with your uh, character if you want to export it. Now when you export an FBX it takes the light, the camera, the lamp, and maybe some other objects you got in your scene. It might take the whole scene. I think it does take the whole scene. Uh, maybe there's a way to keep it from taking everything. But uh, you may want to bring your light lamp with you. You may want to have a little uh, training area or a little uh, studio area that you you already have your lights and everything with your character. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you may want to do it that way or any other way. But all right, let's start with this FBX. All right, click on Spider-Man. Click on. Uh, the mesh and the armature together, select both of them. Uh, I'm not sure if you have to since it does take everything in the scene anyway. But let's go to export FBX. Alright, pretend like I clicked on that uh, export my spider. I'm not going to export him. But I did export uh, a yellow Spider Man a while ago, and uh, I guess you're going to get to see the yellow Spider Man. Uh, so, yeah. Seem like that's my yellow one, so let me go get the yellow one. Now when I import, uh this pretend like I was the red one. I'm gonna import him. Now I get my uh oh. We can't use that, can we? I know you like it, and I don't know who you would call him, but that is not Spider Man. Now just move that one over because he was just I hide another one. But now we got a black Spider-Man, and that was all clean looking, and you can see the colors. Uh, well, I can't really explain to you why this is like that, but I can tell you how to fix it. Uh, I'm sure it has something to do with the material, okay? And I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna go bother it, but maybe I should just so you see it. Uh, so let's click on this one real quick. Go to materials, find out why he's lit up. And just kind of look through this, see if I see anything out of the ordinary. Might be something one of those. Might be the specular. I'm just not sure. Uh, still lit up. Probably ain't that. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe that's something somebody can share some light on. Uh, but this is an FBX character. This ain't. This is my original, so that may be the deal. Uh, maybe they come in all black. You gotta put light on. Don't know. But that's a simple fix. So let's go ahead and add a light, a lamp. We'll get a point. We'll bring it out here. And we'll bring it up some. We'll pretend like we're in Hollywood and we'll do the three point light system. We'll put one in the back so we can get the highlights of the shoulders. It's always to have one. Like my camera's here, that light needs to be right there. If my camera's here, it probably needs to be, that's probably fine. Uh, you just want to highlight those shoulders. Uh, let's bring in a camera. Add a camera. Uh, puts it right on the pivot point. That's fine. Just Pick you a good spot where you want your camera to be looking at and hit control alt zero and you got it. And then maybe you want to move it over. And maybe you want to bring this up so you get a little bit of a head too, the top of the head. This one maybe, I don't know. Hit render. We got our buddies ready for battle. Okay. This Spider Man always gets beat up in my little studio. Sony Spider Man. Alright. Okay. Here's the problem. You brought in your FBX Spider-Man, but he's got all these extra bones. He's got uh, what 
it can't do nothing with those bones because I'll go to pose mode and I'll play with them and nothing happens. That's because they ain't got no meat. No meat. So, what can we do with these? We can get rid of them. I go to edit mode. Hold on, let me turn on the x ray. Alright, let me go to edit mode. Uh, if you can't seem to line up on them, just go to view. Uh, align view. View selected. Alright, and it's be a lot easier to rotate around this Spider Man. Alright, so we click on this one. Shift. Shift, hold down the shift, click that one. Get rid of these outside ones. Those are extra. Got to have those in the middle, right there. Uh, Got to. Oh, this. Thanks a lot, Spider Man. But looks like I'll be all right. Got your hand in my way. Get the whole bone. Oh, got the wrong bone there. Just click it again. Got the thumb bone. Alright. Over there holding hands. Alright. No yellow spider man. He's not your buddy. He's not kissing your butt. Alright. We got one on the jawbone we gotta get rid of. Now let me show you this other bone. Just making sure I got them all. This head bone shrunk. It's now real small. That's his neck bone. You got to have this head bone. So when we get rid of these, we'll bring that head bone straight up on the Z. So let's hit X. Delete all these extra bones. And uh, take that head bone. Click on the top of it. Stick it straight up in there. Uh, straight out on the Z. Okay. And it would have worked with the small bone. It's just I can't hardly grab that little bitty bone. It still would have rotated his head normally, like it's supposed to. You, you like getting beat up, Spider Man? Do you want to fight Batman? Do you want to fight the Red Spider Man? Okay, you're good. We're not going to make y'all fight. Alright, so. I think that's pretty much it. So now you have your a, a, a Spider Man that you can import, export. Uh, basically that, that armature is, is what really matters because, uh, your character could be anything, but that armature, that metal rig, that's how you work that. Uh, this metal rig is a whole lot more advanced than what I'm telling you. Uh, there's a whole nother ball, um, uh, ball of wax that comes with this, and I wish I could go over it with you, but it's more advanced. Uh, see this right here, I can hit generate. And I'm not even going to start with that, okay? Uh, yeah, that'll be another tutorial down the road. Uh, it's not going to be working for us, what we're going to be doing, because we're going to be swinging from uh, buildings, and we're going to be slinging our well. We're going to be beating the crap out of Batman. Uh, we're going to be making bat cakes out of his face. But uh, ain't that right, yellow Spider-Man? All right. So there you go. That's your FBX. I uh, hope I covered enough there so you understand that. And uh, this next video now coming out is gonna be a killer one. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do some animations and stuff and make a little movie of Spider-Man jumping in the air, catching a, a web, and flinging his body. But anyway, have a happy.